So in continuation to the first page when we struggled, uh, this was our login username page. Now in this page, we got two text fields, login ID and password text field. These two text fields, we are actually connecting with the two columns of the database to verify. Now, earlier it was giving us problem because of the email ID column. So what I've done is, as a username and as a password, I'm using instead of a first name and a password as my login ID and password fields. So I'm going to go back to my login page and change user authentication should be done by using F name as a login ID and password as a password. Earlier, I was using emails as a login ID. So to quickly change that bit, I'm into the login page right now. And under the server behaviors, we got login user. So you simply double click on it. And login ID and the password are my text fields. My connection is the same connection, same table, same password column. The only difference here I'm changing is earlier, it was email ID as a username column. That I'm changing it to F name. Okay. The rest I'm keeping it untouched. Right. So one change is that. Let's save this. And the second change is when you go to the update page here, on the update page, you create a fresh record set. So if I just double click on the record set, Assuming the record wasn't there. Let's see. Okay. So this was our earlier stage where we had a logout and just a welcome message. Now here, I've added one thing here. Apart from logout user, go to the server behavior plus sign and restrict this web page as per the user access. So first thing you had to do is Go to user authentication, select restrict access to this page. There's nothing else to do. It will select automatically username and password. And if access is denied to log on to this page, then simply go back to the login page. Okay. This is sometimes useful because if people know the URL of your web page, they can directly go to the web page as well. If someone knows www.com, forward slash welcome.php they can actually go to the welcome.php not necessarily it will only come from login ID and password so in order to in order to restrict people from entering your pages like that by bypassing the login page it's important to do this step as well so because update page I want to restrict by ID password just apply this restrict as access to this page only select access denied they should go to the login page. Okay, minor change. So apart from logout user, I've added restrict access. And the next thing I'm going to add is creating the record set. Now earlier, when we have done the record set, it takes its own name, it takes the connection. For the table, I will select the registration table. It shows me the list of columns. Now we have to filter. Okay, we have to filter the records based on which column. So instead of none, you can select, I want to filter the session for this particular login using the first name, which is actually the username of your website for the login form. So based on the login form, if I'm using F name as my user ID, you should filter your record set with F name equal to URL parameter instead of URL parameter you should scroll down and select session variable session means it's a it's a ready-made ID object in PHP it means when you log in it the clock starts ticking with your user ID and password so it actually locks your ID and the page engaging right once you log out the session will end and no more you will have access to it so it's a ready-made object in PHP but obviously we don't do anything here all we do is we select the filter as a first name equal to session variable and manually here we type mm underscore username 
Now, this is a variable in your connections PHP file. In future, you just have to type this mm capital underscore u capital in username. So just select the username filter as fname equals session variable as the option and in the value manually type mm underscore username it's actually the username of your php coding rest you don't have to do anything you can simply say okay so at the end of the process you end up with three things restrict access record set and logout in your update page okay and in the record set we have to apply those additional things which I've just shown you. Which are these. Selecting the correct table. F name, session variable, mm underscore username. With this, say OK. Save it all. And we can actually go and compare the login page. Test it. Now we can't use email ID as a login ID because we have changed username should be the actual F name now. Now that means we can use either James Bond or Catalin with the C capital as our usernames. Okay. And if you want, I can just do one more entry for our sake. Record number three, F name. What should we write? Nahid N123 email Nahid at email.com. Go. So we got new register user F name Nahid and N123 password. So let's try that. Nahid N123. What's happened? Let me just see there. Server behavior. Oh, I didn't drive a session ID. Correct. Thank you very much. It's not showing any message because after the welcome, we should actually drag and drop the bindings variable. So actually, I should go to the binding. Select F name here. Let's save it all. Check the login page again. Don't worry, Nahid. Nahid. And one, two, three. Welcome, Nahid. Okay, so two changes one in changing the actual login ID sessions and adding the session variable. If you log out, we're back to normal. Thank you very much.